Hey guys, welcome to our Brick Step Rare. Today we will be reviewing the LEGO Disney Train and Station. Um, so we'll start off the train and then make our way over to the station. So here we have the main engine itself. And um, you can see it's got lots of nice details all over. It's got like a one there. It's got the main um, thing on the top where steam comes out of. Um, it's got this really cool function for the, um, right there, here, so you spin the wheel, and that will, um, just go back and forth and keep pushing through that spot. It's a really neat little, uh, function there. Right here you got a little sticker that says Disney Train, and you can see Mickey through there. He actually moves from side to side when you're, uh, making any turns, so if it's turning, um, he'll be up against one side. It's kind of funny because it's kind of like he's uh, keeps hitting himself against the side of a wall. Basically, so this top part can open up. Now you can get a much better look inside. Take a look at the main figures later. But uh, this is like the main uh, I guess we put like coal and stuff in there. Uh, pretty neat little thing. But uh, this is a really nice looking engine. And uh, I actually did a custom one right here. So this is the uh, custom uh, train engine that I made. And uh, you can tell it's definitely, uh, the set is definitely much better than this. But this uh, was a good temporary thing for the time. So here we have the coal car that uh, houses the electronics. So you have the main uh, powered up hub in there and uh, that can be accessed to turn it all on just from lifting that up and then there's a little green button syncs with uh, Bluetooth so uh, pretty easy to do that and you got Disney Railroad uh, stickers there it's also this nice uh, train base uh, it's all electronic there it's also got these cool um, magnetic pieces so when you bring two pieces together, they will magnetically attach. It's just like a really nice little thing. I really like that uh, feature. Yeah, so this is a nice little thing. If you want to change the batteries, you can just take a, uh, the whole powered up hub out. And yeah, move on to the next car. So now we're getting into the ones that hold figures. So this is a really, really nice looking one. I love the um, stripes all along the whole thing and then how they continued that down the side it just looks really really nice it's like a little step a couple steps up there uh, you got all like the stuff that's holding up the canopy you can see all the minifigures face in one direction so um depending on where uh you know you can angle us in any way so you can get connect it like this um, so that they're looking this way or you can connect it like this so they're looking towards us so uh, that's just one little feature that you can do, and then to pit figures inside there, you can just hinge all this up, and then you can get in there, you can see all the seats <laughs> right there, and that works on both sides. So yeah, this is a really neat uh, car. So next up is the dining car, and uh, this is a really nice one. It's got the Disney Railroad again, it's got a bunch of stickers, a bunch of different pins. Um, you can see it's got two um, the wheels on both sides. Uh, this is nice. The uh, this kind of the entrance in, so that door does open up, just not all the way because it gets blocked by the um, the little rail in there. Around the back, it looks nice too. You got another door, as well as a uh, little sticker that says Disney. But kind of like a windows, I guess, up there. It lights some light in as well as windows all around the side. Now to get in there, uh, you actually take the whole wall off. So you just pop all this off as one section and that will allow you to get inside. Inside there's a little table um, with a little teacup and a teapot there as well as three different uh, seats. So uh, it's a really really cool looking car. So next up is the station itself. And when this set was first revealed, I actually was a little bit disappointed by the inclusion of this because uh, this is such a major part of a set and it really bumped up that price. 
but now having built the set, I really think it completes um, the whole um, set here. So uh, this is very big. It's uh, quite tall. You can just uh, use a minifigure uh, to compare the size. So this is very, very big. Um, and we'll just get right into it. So this is like the main entrance. You have some studs to place figures. Uh, you get like the main, all the different details of the words and all sorts of different references. Then uh, you got all these nice brick wall design for it. I really like that as well as all these arches above the windows and doors. Yeah, it's nice. Uh, I don't know what you call that. It's like corner brick design. Um, that's really good looking. And then you have this kind of side door with a little light, which uses the minifigure's head inside there um, to make that work. This side, it's a little more plain, not really anything on there. Now you can see that there is a little balcony that you can look out on. And then you can see the uh, whole roof there. Uh, this has some a really interesting uh, design there. So let's take a look at this one where, let's pop this piece off. And you can see how that uh, gets done. It's just a little piece gets angled. And uh, that's how that connects. Really smart design there to get that to work. We have those windows um, across the whole thing. Uh, two on this side. Another neat detail is this. Uh, uh, I don't really know what this is like to top it off. These are actually using handcuffs and uh, like skeleton legs um, to do this. So that's very uh, cool uh, parts usage. It took a long time to build all that, but I definitely think it was worth it in the end. Then you have this cool um, flag there. Uh, pretty simple thing, but these are double-sided, so it looks nice. And then Looking at this side, it has this really nice um, clock piece, and this is a, a print too. I don't know if this has been used in any other set, but uh, it's really, really nice looking. There's a little bit of detail uh, above that, and then this just goes all the way up uh, outside of my light box. <laughs> it's got the double side Disney. Um, uh, logo again, as well as more of this uh, detail to the skeleton legs and the handcuffs. And there's two windows around there. And yeah, that's about it for the exterior. And we'll take a look at the interior. So looking around the back, this is all open. Uh, which gives you lots of access to place figures and just look at all the little details. Start at the bottom floor. Once you come in the front door, you have the main desk which has a little ticket sign, a plant, as well as some other papers and stuff. Then there's a light uh, right here, and back there is a, uh, a little model train. Uh, potentially it's the one in the set, I don't really know. Uh, definitely a really neat uh, little inclusion there. There's a bench right there, which looks really realistic actually. Uh, really interesting techniques uh, to build that. Then you have a trash can uh, and another light. Then there's this Hanan light, which uh, can move all around. It's uh, kind of fun to mess around with. Then you have uh, back there, you got some umbrellas and some pictures. Over on this side, there's a, another kind of picture a clock and a scale. And move on to the second floor. This is kind of the main uh, walkway area. So you got this nice rug all the way across, as well as curtains uh, and some miscellaneous things. You got a little step up. Then a train and a picture of a train. And that's the walk out onto the balcony that we saw earlier.
And over here is another little um, area where you walk up. And then uh, there's a nice little seat as well as a little coffee cup. And the very last one is actually above uh, this room where we have this neat little, um, I guess, like, attic area. And you actually have a spot where you can have the original Disney castle set. So this is a really, uh, this is a printed piece. Very rare because it only comes in this one set. And then this really uh, interesting build of a micro scale Disney castle. I'm really impressive how they built all that. But yeah, so this is a really, really cool conclusion. So first up, we'll take a look at Mickey. And uh, he's got a special conductor outfit just for this one set. Uh, that's a really nice um, looking outfit. Uh, it's pretty simple. Uh, it's just Mickey. Then there is Minnie. And uh, this version is a little bit different than the one in the collectible minifigure series. Because it has a felt uh, little cloth piece there. Um, instead of just a little plastic piece to represent the skirt. And you have a bow on the top. And just the design's a little different than the ones found in sets. Then we have Chip and Dale. And the design of these are very similar, so I'll just look at these at the same time. Uh, Chip is on the left, and Dale is on the right. Uh, they just have their little conductor outfits, too. Uh, pretty simple, but uh, good figures. And then last but not least, we have Lego Goofy for the first time. Uh, he's kind of really good in Lego form. Uh, very accurate, and he just looks really nice. Uh, the hat is not a separate piece, as you might expect. It's just connected uh, to the head. But he looks really great, and he's a very rare figure, but a very nice inclusion. And I've set it up so that it goes through the whole city. So, uh... This is the second station. Uh, this is like the custom one that I made. It's kind of hard to see back there. Uh, but that's a stop. And then over here, this is where I've put the, uh, the actual station that comes in the set. So you got the turn, and that's going to go in that tunnel there underneath the uh, mansion. So got the app right down here. You can do all these different things, play music with that. This does, uh, like, Cox, uh, does steam, all their noises, uh, controls and its speeds and stuff. But, when I hit the button on the controller, you get the whole train going through the whole thing. So you get, going through the tunnel right there. And that will come out on this side. So it goes all the way around the whole thing. Goes behind the castle. And it turns around here. And then it will go to the, uh, the stop. Yeah, so let's watch it one more time. This is really neat. Then you just hit that <laughs> button to stop it. It can go backwards apparently too, so when you press this button, start going backwards. And this front button here will make it start to go forward. Yeah, so this is really cool and it's really uh, made this whole theme park even so much better. So in the end, this is a great set, and uh, there's so much re just really cool um, things about it. It's got all the electronics needed for the train to go. It's got the awesome station as well as uh, some very cool rare minifigures, including Goofy. And uh, it's definitely expensive, but for what it is, this is a really great set. And I'm gonna give it a 10 out of 10 brick separators. So if you liked today's video, be sure to check out some of the other ones here on the Bricks Up Rare. See you soon.